what's up guys Andrew's Crypt coming at you guys today today's video is going to be my entry for toddy walnuts friday the 13th giveaway <clears throat> he's doing a really cool giveaway on a friday the 13th mask and uh basically he wants us to do a movie review of our favorite uh film from the friday the 13th franchise so i'm gonna go ahead and do that today so it's kind of a tough choice for me um i thought about maybe mentioning just a few but i think i got it down to one uh, just one that I, I, I watch all the time. Um, I know it's not everyone's favorite, but I just really enjoy it. Um, it's very entertaining. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll get into that real quick here. So um, I have the big box set here. I don't have all these individually, so I'll have to show you it in a strange way, I guess. Um, all right, so... Part six right here, Jason Lives. This is my favorite Friday the 13th film in the series. A um, couple reasons why I absolutely love the soundtrack. Uh, Alice Cooper has, a, has some songs in there and it's just really neat. Also has one of my favorite kills. Um, I really love the the scene where they're driving in the, in the motor home and uh, Teenage Frankenstein's playing and um, Jason kills uh, two of the people in there. One of my all-time favorite scenes in the in the uh, in the film and in the franchise. Honestly, I, I absolutely love it. Um, also, I did get to meet um, this guy here that plays Jason in Part Six, which is C.J. Graham at uh, Texas Frightmare this past weekend. He was a super cool dude. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, there, I'm not sure why this one has always just stuck with me. It's just kind of always been my go-to film. Uh, whenever I want to watch a Friday the 13th film, you know, this has the, you know, Tommy Jarvis play, is in here as the character, and um, I like the way they bring him back in the beginning. He's, you know, he's digging up Jason, and of course, somehow he manages to uh, bring him back to life. But I mean, it's just, it's a, it's just a really fun one in the series. It's very entertaining, in my opinion. It's not like a boring one. Um, and like I said, there, it just has a lot of its pluses, um, you know, with all Alice Cooper in there. And I think the kills are good. Um, you know, it even has like the good cheesiness. Like, I love the part when they're in the in the woods playing paintball and he kills all of them in there. And they or that, you know, one of them shoots Jason. And you can tell he just looks extremely pissed off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of Friday the 13th memorabilia. But I mean, this is a, I have a NECA figure of Jason from part six. Um, it comes with his, his you got the little tools in here, and um, his uh, knife, he got his machete, his mask comes off here, looks all gross and disgusting underneath, very beautiful. Um, it also comes with a, the spear, which is broken. I don't know how this happened, I think it had fallen because I have all my naked figures on a shelf and uh, they've, they've fallen before. And I think this was in his hand and when it fell, it just impacted. I mean, luckily where it's broken is like, a, I, I think I could easily fix that. It's a, just a little piece of glue there. It still sucks, it's a bummer. Um, I mean, when I put it in his hand though, you can't even tell because I, I have it set up to where you can't even tell that's broken because they look like they're connected anyways. But yeah, cool little naked figure from part six here um so yeah guys i mean that's it's pretty much it um i mean i'm more i guess more so of the review side i i so the reason why i like this film so much i just think it's very entertaining um you know it has tommy jarvis in it uh, which is one you know one of my favorite characters in the franchise going back after jason again and uh i like that i enjoy the kills a lot um I, th I believe it's one of the only Friday the 13th films that has absolutely no nudity in it. I, I think. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just... It's one that's kind of stuck with me. Um, whenever I want to watch... You know, whenever Friday the 13th rolls around, I always want to watch it. Um, it's, one, it's always one of my go-to Friday the 13th films in the franchise. Um, but I mean, I... I love all, I love a lot of these films. I mean, there's very few of them I don't like. Um, you know, I even s still like Jason Takes Manhattan, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X. I know they're not good movies, um, but Keen Hodder as Jason is fantastic, and uh, yeah, I still enjoy to to watch them. I do think that they're entertaining. They're just not good, <laughs> but probably. Um, I really do enjoy Freddy vs. Jason, and I actually really like the remake. Um, not a lot of people did. 
I think it was well done. Uh, there's a few things I didn't like about the remake, but overall I think it was a solid film. It was entertaining, good kills, followed the story pretty well for the most part. Um, but yeah, I think I believe that's about it, guys. Go check out Toddy Walnuts, his channel. He's doing a really cool giveaway. I believe it's worldwide. You don't even need to be a subscriber, but you should subscribe because he does awesome videos, puts out great content, and I'm very thankful to have him as a friend in the YouTube community. Um, so thank you, Todd, for doing this awesome giveaway. And uh, I also do have your entry, by the way, for my contest. So uh, yeah, so good luck to that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.